I invested $300,000 into Bitcoin and the Bitcoin mining company with the strong belief that Bitcoin will surpass $100,000 by the end of the year. In my previous videos, I talked about the wick of accumulation schematic and that I strongly believe that we were in that phase, which turned out to be correct. I explained that in detail in this video up here. If you don't know what the wick of accumulation schematic is, don't worry, I'll give you a, a short description of it. The wick of accumulation schematic was developed by Richard D. Wickoff, who was an early 20th century pioneer who studied the stock market. He realized that big corporations use tricks to manipulate the market, which obviously makes them a lot of money. He didn't like the fact that obviously somebody has to lose for someone else to win. So we were the losers. So he decided to educate us on how the game is actually played. A couple months ago, I wasn't even aware of Mr. Wickoff and his schematic, his theory, which turned out to be a blessing for me personally, because I studied it and was very accurate in Bitcoin in 2021. In one of my videos, I compared the four hour chart of Bitcoin with the accumulation schematic, with the, the theory, and it, it was almost identical. I've been invested in cryptocurrency since 2017, but I was not educated at all. So I bought in at the wrong time, sold at the wrong time, and I was not committed to a single coin. I've learned a lot from my previous mistakes, or at least I believe I did. So um, here are the reasons why I invested $300,000 into the future of Bitcoin. After studying and analyzing the wick of distribution, which happened when Bitcoin dropped from $60,000 all the way down to $30,000, I truly believe that we were in the accumulation phase, which is now officially over in my opinion and the whales are ready to see new all-time highs which will probably surpass 100,000 in my opinion more and more companies are willing to accept cryptocurrency or at least they talk about cryptocurrency in the near future to accept it as a payment method which is not only good for cryptocurrency in general but also good for the Bitcoin price in the short run cryptocurrency has become mainstream and a lot more people want to invest into cryptocurrency because they don't want to miss out which creates a higher demand and also a higher price so that's why I invested three hundred thousand dollars into Bitcoin or to be very precise one hundred and sixty one thousand dollars in to Bitcoin itself, which already generated $5,000 in interest for me just by holding it. By the way, if you have any cryptocurrency laying around that's not generating you any money at the moment, check out blockfi.com slash Johannes. You can get up to $250 when you sign up. And also you can start generating interest on your cryptocurrency today. I also have $140,000 invested in Riot. It's a Bitcoin mining company. And now you'll probably ask yourself, why didn't you just put everything into Bitcoin? If you have been subscribed to this channel, you know that I love options trading just as like a passive income source. I just love the fact that whatever company I hold, I can sell options on it and generate income on top of it. A few months ago, I started selling options on Riot, which then led to me investing $140,000, but I roughly made $20,000 in four months just by selling options on Riot. I now officially stopped selling options on Riot because I truly believe that now we'll see a massive run in Bitcoin, which will also bring up the price of Riot. So I don't wanna lose my shares halfway through the run. I stopped because I got deeper and deeper into the wick of accumulation phase. And like after I saw it on the four hour chart of Bitcoin and the almost it was almost identical i was like okay now i just want to hold on to my shares because i truly believe that we will see new all-time highs and this will probably bring up riot to maybe new all-time highs but even if it's just going back to the last all-time high which was around 75 dollars that's already like double my investment so instead of selling my options on a weekly basis and generating two thousand to four thousand dollars each week I just plan on holding on to the shares and wait for the stock to triple in value, hopefully. I know this is very risky and this is just me betting on Bitcoin to run, but at the same time, I have nothing to lose. It's just an investment. So if Bitcoin does not jump up to $100,000 and Riot does not go the way I wanted it to go, I will just start selling options again and generate $2,000 to $4,000 each week. Mind you, I could be 100% incorrect with my prediction or with my theory that Bitcoin will go over $100,000. It's also possible that Bitcoin will never see $60,000 this year ever again. But if I knew, I would have held my five Bitcoin that I bought at $1,500 a piece 
and did not sell them at $8,000 where I thought I'm a genius. So depending on what's going to happen by the end of the year, I have two scenarios for myself and these are the scenarios. Number one, Bitcoin does not perform. So this is the scenario where Bitcoin does not reach $80,000 or $100,000 per coin. So if that happens, I will not touch my Bitcoin at all and I will just leave it inside my wallet where it generates interest for me on a daily basis. That interest I will probably use to just buy more cryptocurrency along the way. I will also start selling options on my Riot shares again just to generate income which I can then use to feed my dividend portfolio. Scenario number two, Bitcoin performs, which I truly believe it will do. My scenario number two, when I say Bitcoin will perform, I mean it will surpass or get like really close to $100,000. I will watch the charts very carefully to anticipate the peak, which is, I know, impossible. I will never be able to do that perfectly or correctly. I'm just trying to make sure that I anticipate the drop like we had in 2017, because I truly believe after new all time highs, we will see a, a correction of like, I'm not, I don't wanna say a number, but like a big correction after a new all time high. I am well aware of the fact that I won't be able to, you know, time the market perfectly, but that's that's fine with me. I will probably try to dollar cost average out of the market so we'll get a better price. As for Riot, in scenario number two, if Bitcoin surpasses $100,000, I assume uh, that Riot shares will have a massive run up again, like they had when it hit $60,000, I will probably sell my initial investment of $140,000 and keep the other shares and just see how far it will go. That way I have my initial money back and I'm in the game with house money. So if it goes up a lot, good for me. If not, who cares? As of right now, my initial investment of $300,000 is currently worth $375,000, including the $20,000 in premium that I received. So subtract that and we're at $355,000. To be honest, it's already great. I'm up $55,000 and in my opinion, the bull run hasn't even started yet. So who knows? Another thing is I also started day trading or swing trading again with like a small, very small account of $1,000, which I already brought up to $6,000 now. Why do I only use $1,000 instead of like more, 10, 15, $20,000? It's because I realized that being in the market is more important than trying to time the market perfectly because I don't know what's gonna happen all the time and I will miss out on so many percent like over the, the, the week that it doesn't make sense for me to try, you know, time the market. So I'd rather be in the market, get all those gains and get interest on the cryptocurrency that I'm holding. I simply enjoy studying and learning more about charts and uh, patterns and it's just, it's very exciting for me. It became a hobby that's now, so it takes up a lot of my time during the day, but I'm so passionate about it. I just wanna learn more. And unfortunately the best way for me to learn is by making mistakes, but that's why I said, okay, I'm only gonna invest a thousand dollars and you know, make mistakes with a thousand dollars. If you're interested in my day trading experience, I document every single trade that I'm doing right now on my Patreon. So far, we are on a good run. But again, this is not financial advice, just you know, my, me documenting my journey in the day trading, swing trading realm. If you wanna check it out, there's a link in the description below. If you have made it this far in the video, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. And if you also hold cryptocurrency, I wish you all the best and hope that you make good choices and you make good amount of money by the end of the year. Again, I still believe we're gonna surpass $100,000. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.